In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a landing page for affiliate marketing for free. So this method uses software that's 100% free for you to use to create a landing page and also to automate all your email follow-up sequence. So the first thing you need to do is choose a product to promote. So for this demo, we're going to be using ClickBank because it's super easy to use, it's beginner friendly, doesn't cost you anything to sign up, and they pretty much accept anyone as an affiliate. They don't give a shit. So if you don't yet have a ClickBank account, then head over to this button here that says affiliate start here, and ClickBank's going to ask you a few questions to get started. Go through these questions and get signed up with a free account. Then once you're logged into ClickBank, head over to the ClickBank Marketplace, you find it in the top menu bar at the top here. And then we're going to want to choose a category or a niche. So you've got a few of the main categories at the top here. But if you click on this button here that says all, this menu option, then you've got all the different niches and categories that are available on ClickBank. So there's loads and loads to choose from here. So, but for this demo, I'm gonna choose health and fitness and I'm gonna to go to weight loss because that's a really popular category. And now here in the middle, ClickBank's gonna show me all the different products in the weight loss category that I can start to promote. But now what's really important is I don't wanna promote a dud that's just not converting. I wanna promote a product that's actually selling well on ClickBank. So I'm gonna come up to the top here to this drop down menu and I'm gonna sort the results by gravity high to low. So gravity is ClickBank's own unique metric, which just indicates how well or not a product is selling. So the higher the gravity score, the more that product's been sold recently. So if I look at the results here, this one, the Smoothie Diet, has got a gravity score of 133, Fast Lean Pro, 124, and so on. Now here's another product, Custom Keto Diet. So it's got a gravity score of 32, which is also pretty good. Now in this tutorial, I'm showing you how to set up a landing page for affiliate marketing and collecting people's email addresses and putting them through an automated email follow-up sequence. But at the same time that they submit their email address on your landing page, we're going to redirect them to the affiliate offer that you're promoting instead of first redirecting them to an affiliate bridge page. Now, if you want to see a full tutorial on how to set up an affiliate funnel with a bridge page, then I've left a link in the description below this video to that tutorial as well. But for this tutorial, because we're just creating a landing page only that's going to redirect directly to the affiliate product, I want to choose a product that can also be used essentially as a lead magnet in it of itself. So I don't have to create a lead magnet either for this type of funnel. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So with this product, the average commission you'll get is $161 per sale, which is pretty decent. And that also includes the upsells that follow on from this product. So the initial conversion, you get $126 for the sale. And then there's also rebuild options for you to get recurring income from promoting this product. Now, if you want to take a look at the landing page of this product to so see what it's all about, click on the heading of this product here. And now this is the default landing page. So the heading is get your custom keto diet plan. The video here. Now, what I particularly like about this product, like one of the things is if I click on promote, this product has also got different landing pages that I could use if I want to. Now, one of them here, it says direct to quiz. So if I preview this landing page, this is the landing page here, get your custom keto diet plan now, and it's the start of a quiz. So essentially we can use this quiz as a lead magnet. So for example, on our landing page, instead of creating an ebook or a checklist or a cheat sheet or a video or something like that, doing those extra steps, and then offering that on the landing page to incentivize the person to opt in to our email list. Instead, we can say, hey, take the quiz to get your custom keto diet plan. And you don't have to create a lead magnet now because this product has a quiz already set up for you. So I'm going to redirect visitors to this page from my landing page that I'm going to show you how to set up in a minute. And then to create my affiliate link, all I need to do is select this option for the landing page of the product. And I've got my affiliate ID in here. And now to create my affiliate link for this particular landing page for the quiz, instead of the default page, all I need to do is enter my affiliate ID at the top here. And then I'm going to check next to the quiz page and then click on create hop link. Now here's my affiliate link here. Now before we set up our landing page to promote this offer and collect our leads to build our email list, I just want to show you if I close this window down and with this product custom keto diet, if you go to the affiliate page, most of these products have affiliate resources for you to use to help you with your promotions and they'll be found in the affiliate resource page. So by clicking on this, you'll open the affiliate resource page, which is here for this particular product. And there's loads of information about how you can promote it best and lots of tools and resources. What I'm really looking for is email swipes. And here we go. So here's the email swipes. Most good products will have pre-written emails for you that you can use. So all you need to do is just load them up into your autoresponder. So we're going to come back and use these in a minute. So after we set up our landing page, we're going to set up an automated email follow-up series. So once the person opts into our list, we'll have an automated series that will send emails to them daily to encourage them to buy this product. So now we've chosen our affiliate product. Now we need to use some free software where we can create our landing page and then collect our email addresses and promote that affiliate offer. 
And the software we're going to use to do this is called System.io. So System is an all-in-one marketing platform that allows you to build landing pages, funnels, membership sites, does your email automation for you. And you can do all of that on the free plan. It's free forever and you don't even need to enter a credit card to use it. So if you don't yet have a System account, then the left link in the description below this video to get access to the free plan. Then once you're into your account and also build your landing page, head over to this tab here that says Funnels. And now in Funnels, click on this button at the top that says Create. And now from this page, first of all, you've got to choose a name for your funnel. So I'm just going to name it the same name as the products we're promoting, just so it's easy for me to see what this landing page is about. And then by default, the URL of your landing page will be whatever email address you signed up with, followed by .system.io. Unless you set up a custom domain, which I definitely recommend you do, it's much more professional. As you see, I've got a few custom domains set up in here already, but just for speed of this demo, I'm gonna leave it as it is. Now, if you want to set up a custom domain for your own landing page to make your landing page much more professional, then I've left the link in the description below this video to my tutorial to show you exactly how to do that. And then the next step for this particular purpose, we wanna choose this option, which is build an audience. And now because we're not actually selling any of our own products that we own ourselves, we're not doing that, we're promoting an affiliate product. This currency here, is irrelevant so you can just ignore this this is only relevant if you're selling your own products that you own yourself so just ignore that click save and now we see the name of the new funnel we set up will be at the top here click on this and our system has created two pages for us the squeeze page which is the landing page and a thank you page so we're not actually going to use a thank you page in this particular strategy so i'm going to just remove that click confirm so now we're left with the one page which is a squeeze page which is going to be our landing page now you can create your landing page from scratch if you want to but it's much easier to choose one of these templates that systems already created for you and just edit it as you need so i'm going to use quite a simple landing page something like this so if you click on preview template you can have a look at the template to see what it's going to look like. And I'm going to select and I go with this one. And now let's pull this template into our editor. And now it comes to this button here, it says edit page. And now I can edit this as I want to. Now, when we're creating a landing page to promote affiliate products and build an email list, it works really well just to keep it simple. So we're going to have a headline, subheadline, and our opt-in form here. So now we need to create a headline and a subheadline for our landing page. Now you could use ChatGPT to do this for you. But personally, what I like to do first of all, before I go to ChatGPT, is take a look at the landing pages of the actual product we're promoting and see if we can get some ideas for our landing page. So if you click on promote, I'm gonna take a look at each of the landing pages here and see if I can get some ideas. So my quick and easy custom keto meal plan helps you stop stubborn weight. Uh, yeah, not that keen on that. So look at the next one. Find out how much weight you'll lose with our simple keto meal plan. I quite like that, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna borrow this headline or actually steal it. And I mean, it's to promote the same product, so I don't think they'll mind. And I'm just gonna drop it in here. Don't like that font very much. I'm gonna change this and I'm gonna choose something like Montessorat. It's a bit nicer. I'm gonna bring that down a bit, just the line height. And I'm gonna put this in red as well, similar to how they've done on their landing page. So I'm just gonna adjust the color here, change that to red starting to look a bit better and i'm going to duplicate this to make our subheading and i'm going to just write take the quiz now i'm going to space this out a bit so highlight the subheading uh, come to margin and now bring that over here a little bit to make a bit of space maybe that's a bit too much bring that back a bit and make this a little bit smaller than the heading i'm just going to make a few more adjustments now this form already has the name and the email form in here. If you didn't want one, if you didn't want to collect the first person's name, you can just delete this here. Click OK to that, so just collect the email. If you change your mind, or if the opt-in form you started off with only had the email filled in here, what we could do is come to the sidebar here under the elements and choose the form input and drag that in over here. And then we click in the settings of this form element. And here it says input type. And we're going to select whatever we want it to be. So I'm going to choose first name. Now you can see the font's a bit different here. So I'm just going to go to this one and change this just so it's the same. So that looks a bit better. I'm going to change this button to a different color. So I'm going to choose a red color. I think that looks a bit better. And I'm going to write the button text in here. And I'm going to make that a lot bigger. And I'm going to bold it as well. Let's choose bold 700. Actually, I think I like that better. Now I want to change this background image to something that's a bit more keto. So if I come over to this website here called pixabay.com. So pixabay is a great resource where you can find loads of royalty free images that you can use for free. So I'm going to search for keto and see what comes up. Maybe this image looks quite nice. This might work all right. So when you click on the image and then come to download, and you want to choose a size. If you choose a size that's too small, it's going to look pixelated. So I'm actually going to choose this bigger size, 1920 by 1280. Download this. 
Now that's downloaded to my computer, I can select the background by clicking on the little gear icon at the top here to make sure I'm selecting the background. And now here where it says background image, this is the image file that's currently in there. So let's change it. I'm going to click on this little cloud icon and I can just drag and drop my image in here. Select the image and click insert. Now I don't know if I like that one all that much actually. If I was going to use this landing page for real, I might change it to something else. It looks okay, but you get the idea anyway what we're trying to do. Now the other thing to notice is you can see the bottom here, there's this weird white line here. Don't want that. I want the background image to completely fill the page. It just looks much better. So select the background and I'll click the gear icon again to make sure I'm getting the menu for this background. And in the sidebar menu, I'm going to scroll down to where it says padding, where it says bottom here. I'm going to pull that across until it fills up the bottom of the landing page with my image. Okay, so now our landing page is more or less set up. We need to make sure, first of all, this button that when the person clicks it, they'll be redirected instantly to the affiliate products that we're promoting. And then second of all, they're gonna join our email list as well. So the first thing is we're gonna grab our affiliate link. So head back to ClickBank. So as we said before, we're promoting this landing page for the quiz. Select this one and create my hop link, copy my link. And then if I click on the button, the sidebar menu will change here. We've got two options. First one is action when button clicked, and that's to submit the form. So we can't quite do that yet because we've not yet set up our email campaign. So we'll do that in a moment. But before that, this next option says, do you want to redirect the user after contact registration? And yes, we definitely do. So we're gonna select to a custom URL, and then the redirection URL is our affiliate link. Paste that in here. And now we're gonna click on save changes for now because we're gonna to have to exit this page for a moment, set up our automated campaign first, before we can then connect our email campaign to this landing page. So, so far looking good. So what we need to do now is set up our automated email campaign in system and connect it to our landing page. So then when people opt into our opt-in form, they'll be redirected to the affiliate offer, then they'll also start to receive our full-up emails. And we're gonna use those emails that we've got access to in the affiliate resource area for that product we're promoting. So it's basically gonna be copy and pasting those emails over, pretty simple. So before we exit out of our landing page, just make sure you save your changes up here and then hit the exit button. We'll come back to the funnel step page. And now what we need to do is go to emails and campaigns. Now here, create a new campaign. And again, I'm gonna name it the same as the product we're promoting. So it's really easy for us to clearly see which campaign this is. And then click save and the campaign will be listed at the top here. Click on the name of the campaign. And now here is where we need to enter our emails. So we're gonna head back to ClickBank and go back to the affiliate resource page for this product. And we're gonna come down to where we can find the email swipe files. So I click on the latest lot of swipe files and they've put more in the Google Doc for us. I'm gonna open this. Now here is instructions for the email swipes and here are the emails. So you've got a few subject lines to choose from and then here's the actual email itself and where they've highlighted it in blue, this is where you replace it for your affiliate link. So really simple. So I'm just gonna grab one of these subject lines, grab that one first, uh, come back to the system and then click on create to create our first email. Throw my subject line in here. It's already got my name in here and then click save and then come back to the email template. Grab all of this and then paste this in. Now, what's really important here is we are collecting the person's first name on our landing page. So we just need to make sure we're using the correct placeholder, the person's first name. I know this is not the correct one for system. So if I delete this and from the substitutes dropdown, I'm gonna choose first name. And now this will pull in the first name of the subscriber each time we send an email to them. And now here is where you put your affiliate link. You just come back to ClickBank to grab your affiliate link. Now you choose the link icon and drop your link in here. And then you sign off, you just change to put your name. And now when you click save and publish, what happens is system asks you, when do you wanna send this email? So if you leave this by default for the first email on zero days, what will happen is it will send it immediately as soon as the person opts in. But you could also, if you wanted to delay it a little bit, if you wanted to delay it by one or two hours, you can do if you want. I'm gonna leave it on zero days and click activate. So now this email will go instantly as soon as the person opts in. Now click save and exit. And we'll see our first email is listed here. And now I'm just gonna show you one more so you can see the sequence of how it flows. I'm just gonna grab next subject line, throw it in here, and then of course, Get your body of the next email, drop it in, 
do the same thing. Make sure you put the right placeholder for the name and add your affiliate link. Now, as you click save and publish this time, now system saying, when do you want to send this email? So here, this email will be sent after, and then you choose the previous email. So the subject line of the previous email will be listed here. So you select this, and now it's currently on zero days. So I'm gonna change this for one day. So what happens now is this email will be sent one day after this email. So this was the first email that will be sent instantly. And now this second email, which we're currently working on now, will be sent one day after, so 24 hours later. And then when you come to your fourth and fifth and sixth email, you're loading up in your automated sequence. When you check this drop down here, you'll see a list of all the subject lines for all the last emails. So you can just choose which email you want the next one to go after. So it's very simple. Click activate, save, and exit. And now we've got the first two emails set up there. And now I'm not gonna put them all in, of course, because this is just a demo, but you get the idea. But now all we need to do is connect that campaign to our opt-in form on our landing page. So once someone opts in, they'll instantly be added to our list and start to receive our emails. So I'll show you how to do that now. So come back to funnels and come back to your funnel that you just created or your landing page and the squeeze page is selected. Now we need to come here where it says automation rules, click on add a rule and we choose this option, funnel step form subscribed. And then we need to hover over these three dots here, click on edit automation rule and then we need to add an action so the add an action is subscribe to campaign and now it's asking well which campaign do you want to subscribe them to now because we've already set up our campaign from this drop down now our custom keto diet campaign is listed here and then click save now that's set up the last step is to go back to the step configuration click on edit to go back to edit our page click on this button we've already got our affiliate link in here action when button clicked is on submit the form so that's correct they'll be submitted once the form submitted they'll be added to our campaign and then automatically redirected to our affiliate offer and then click on save changes and i'm going to exit my page and now here i can view my funnel click on this button here and i'm going to test it out so i'm going to enter my name enter an email and i should be redirected to our here we go redirected instantly to the affiliate offer to take the quiz and if we come back to system go to email campaigns there we can see we've got the emails well, it's actually showing two emails on here now because i already tested it out before i shot this so we can see that everything is working as it should so there you have it that's how easy it is to make a landing page for free for affiliate marketing using system.io now if you've got value out this video then please do like share and subscribe it really helps my channel out a lot and i really appreciate it now, if you want to know exactly how to set up a affiliate bridge page funnel with your landing page, your thank you page, also I'm going to show you how to create a lead magnet and also connect and hook up all your automated email follow-up sequence, then this is the next video you want to watch. Or if you want to know how to use ChatGPT to make money with affiliate marketing, then this is the next video you want to watch.